Urban Gardening Thailand. Join me in my tropical Asian garden. In my first video, I grew chrysandra seeds directly in a planter. In the second video, I transplanted chrysandra sprouts that were growing naturally around the parent plants into planters. Now I want to show you the results, as so many times YouTubers, including myself, make videos but you never get to see if it really worked out or not. This is the planter where I planted the seeds directly into the soil. It is now about five months old. Most of the plants are flowering. I love the bright orange colors. The planter might be a bit overcrowded, and it's up to you how far apart you wish to place your plants. They do seem to do okay, however, when planted fairly close together. This is the planter that I created by transplanting seedlings that had sprouted naturally from the parent plant. It is about two and a half months old. All the plants are doing very, very well and probably will be flowering in another couple of months. Once you have established chrysandra plants in your garden, you may want to be careful about all the seedlings that they produce. To keep it from spreading everywhere in your garden, you may wish to deadhead the seed stems as soon as the flowers have died, but before the seeds have matured and popped open. Give your chrysandra plants a lot of sun and they will give you a lot of flowers. If you enjoyed this series, let me know by ticking that like button and or leaving a comment. You can find my chrysandra playlist from the link in the description below. And of course, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Happy gardening! Be sure and check out all my gardening videos from my gardening playlist, as well as my computer tutorial videos and general interest videos. See you next time!